I'm Ben Sargent, and I live for seafood. Oh, he's going to too hot. Oh, oh, about 10 o'clock. Holy oh, sh- I don't even care what this tastes like. It looks so pretty. There's basically the for Nice. Hey. Oh, my eyes. Guys, there's a manatee behind you. Holy mackerel. I'm a chef, fisherman, and seafood fanatic. I've been a restaurateur specializing in chowders of all kinds. On Hook, Line, and Dinner, I'm going to help you see seafood in a whole new light. So come join me on the ultimate seafood road trip. After getting an awesome Gayutaku print made of a hogfish, I can't seem to get the species out of my mind. To learn more about them, I'm visiting the owner of Hogfish Bar and Grill, located a few miles from Key West on Stock Island. Let's get out of here. Oh. Owner Bobby Mangelli has been catching and cooking hogfish since the 80s. The name of the game is Hogfish today. Let's see if we can shoot some hogfish. Shoot. I thought this was a fishing show. Shoot, as in spear. Right, got it. Spearing hogfish is actually more responsible than hooking one on a line, where you're more likely to catch other fish that share their same habitat. To prevent overfishing, hogfish are heavily regulated by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. Flavor-wise, why is it a good fish? You know, people say, I don't eat fish because it's too fishy. Right. One thing about hogfish is there's no fish at all because there's very little oil. There's nothing but pure white meat. Driving our boat is Bob, longtime curator of the Key West Aquarium. Bobby's nephew, Devin, might just be a kid. Here he goes. But I hear he's got quite the reputation for spearing hogfish. Shallow water is the preferred place to catch hogfish because they scour the ocean's floor for food using their pig-like snouts to search for crustaceans buried underneath. Not a lot going on down there. Poor visibility is disturbing our hunt, but we press on. Devin lives up to his reputation as a spearfishing badass. Got him right here. But I'm determined to spear one of my own. No luck today for me. Maybe another time. You woke up hungry at least. Uh, yeah. Either way, we still have a nice haul to take back to the Hogfish Bar and Grill, where Bobby will work his culinary magic on Devin's day's catch. How'd you come up with the hogfish fajita? Everybody cooks hogfish. Right. Everybody puts it in tacos. Everybody cooks it in beer bath. We wanted to come up with something that was unique right. for hogfish. Where do we go from here? I'm going to flay some flays for you. Oh, that's it. So start at the head. I always start at the head. Work your way down the backbone. Work your way back, back down the backbone. Yep. And what I'm going to do is grab a lot of that head meat that a lot of people kind of cut off. This chunk of meat right here is almost like the oyster. Okay. It's really, really good. And then I like to have something to hold on to, so that's why I don't cut through. We can skin it so much faster. Nice. Let's test out your filleting skills here, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's a good job. Soon to become a fajita. Okay, so fajitas. Something's got to be hot. Boom. Two. Let's go. Let's do it. Sweet. Right, so we got to get to our vegetables? Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut a quick pepper. Kind of give it a nice, not a julienne, but you don't want to give it something that you can put into a fajita. Yeah. You go on green side. Green. Give it the same shape so it cooks at the same temperature, you know? Yep. So let's just do a quick onion. I like the onion set up the exact same way. we got a nice array mm-hmm. for flavor. This is like a little blackening season we nice. use every now and then. Cool. Just a little bit, because we're going to put that on the flays, too. Why don't you bring over those peppers and onions? All right. Get these a nice yep. saute on it. I tell you, speed things up. Yep. I tell you, it always helps to put that a little on there. All so right, what good. we're going to do now, yeah. we're just going to season these up a little bit. Just a little bit of blackening season, just to kind of give it a little flavor. Because, see, the hogfish takes on that flavor. Mm-hmm. One, two. Would you say, in general, hogfish just cooks real quick? Yes, it cooks fast because there's no there's no oil. No oil. It's just straight through. Nothing to slow it down. Nothing to slow it down. And at this point, if you want it to bend, you could yeah. put a little lime on it. I'll oh, do it. And then we're going to put an right. order here like that and set these off right now to the side here. Right. We put these on. Yeah. You know, these are just for the customers. Don't burn them. Okay. So. We use these in Vermont, but for something else, it's cold up there. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So the idea now... Yep. See how these are burning? Is to, is to introduce this to it. Right. Okay? There's basically the fajita. That's it. Nice. Nice. Go ahead and grab these lines. They softened up. They got a little flavor to them. Okay. And go ahead and squeeze those over top of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my eyes. Oh, look at this. 
Okay, so this is what you got. Make one up. And uh, there's a lot of fish here. Look at that flake. Look at that. Look at that. Right. Look what I'm talking about. See, Ben? Look at that. Ooh. It's unbelievable, huh? Look at it that is one. unbelievable. So here we go. Here we go. Hogfish fajitas. Chin -chin. Right there. All right. Wow, that is a good fajita. Flaky, flaky fish. The veggies, you got all the crunch you want in there. It's got so much juiciness to it. I love that. The dripping down my hand. You know you've got a good piece of fish when it's doing that. It's everything. That's everything <laughs> dripping down. Right, exactly. Thank you, Bobby. Ben, thanks for coming down. Appreciate it, you know. That was a slippery oh, handshake. That's a good sign. No, all right. <laughs> Delicious fajitas for sure something else left a bad taste in my mouth, not spearing a hogfish. So I'm extending my vacation an extra day to attend to some unfinished business. Coming up, while making a last attempt at spearing a hogfish, I come across something a lot bigger. There's a manatee behind you. My Key West vacation is coming to a close, but not before I take care of some unfinished business. Yesterday with Bobby and his crew, I had no luck in spearing a hogfish, but today, they're indulging my need to give it one last shot, literally. Walk me through the technique here, so what's the trick to a, to a hogfish? It's not really, not really a trick. They actually will come right up to you. The ideal shot for a hogfish is off to the side, because you get more of a target that way. So you have to get as level with them as possible. Try to. We're set up at the same spot as yesterday, since Devin had so much luck there before. There's fish in there, I'm getting it. No hogfish in there. Wait, I think I'm on one. Nope, that's a shark. How about there? Missed. Seriously? I thought they didn't spook. Line her up. <laughs> Speared one. Victory! But nothing could prepare me for what was about to happen. Hey, you guys, there's a manatee behind you. Oh, sweet. Right behind you. Now, holy mackerel. That is something. Rub his belly. Rub his belly. Unbelievable. That's a great shot. Are you kidding? A friggin' manatee? You can't get more quintessential Florida than that. Ever seen them roll over like they want to play like that? once-in-a-lifetime experience. All right. And for good measure, I speared a hogfish like I wanted. Thanks, guys. Thanks for giving it. 100%. All in all, my time in the Keys was great. I might not have gotten all the R&R &R I wanted, but I couldn't imagine a better way to end my trip than with an experience I will never forget.